Welcome everyone to the Sunday Mass, a ministry of the Passionist community. And before we begin our Mass this week, I would just like to share with you some information about our online Mass. In recent years, uh, you have begun to experience, first of all, ads during the Mass, and then eventually over the last year, commercials interrupting the Mass. I know many of you have been frustrated with this, and so have we. And we've looked very hard to find a solution for this problem, and I think we found one. In December, we signed a contract with the Vimeo hosting service. Uh, and so beginning with our Christmas Mass, on our website, the Mass is hosted by Vimeo, which means there are no ads and no commercials. The Mass will still appear on the YouTube channel, but you'll have to deal with how YouTube presents the Mass. But if you would like to watch it uninterrupted, no commercials, no ads, all you have to do is go to our website, thesundaymass.org, and there you can watch it without commercials or ads uninterrupted. We hope this helps, uh, and we thank you for being part of the Sunday Mass faith community. Have a great celebration today and a great week. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass, a ministry of the Passionist community. It is March 24th. It is Passion Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. So if you have your prayer guide, turn to the beginning of Mass and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, and with your spirit. And as we enter into this most holy of weeks, in this most holy of days, uh, let us first pause to prepare our hearts to make sure that they're open to the gift and presence of God that we will encounter. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to the gift of everlasting life. And let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I may know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, 
knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me deride me, they curl their lips, they toss their heads. He trusted in the Lord, let him save him. Let him release him, for in him he delights. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every other name. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel and the Passion according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. So they brought the colt to Jesus and put their cloaks over it, and he sat on it. And many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Those preceding him as well as those following, kept crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. At noon, darkness covered the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Laba Sabatani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard this said, Look, he is calling for Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. 
Wait and see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last breath. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing Jesus saw how he had breathed his last, he said, truly, this man was the Son of God. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, I think if my mind serves me right, this is the eighth year that I've had the privilege and the honor of celebrating Palm Sunday, Passion Sunday, with you. And I probably have said it for the eight years. Uh, I, I am sad sometimes at this moment because we couldn't read the whole Passion. Or we couldn't read that part of Mark's Gospel at the beginning of Mass like they do in almost every other place that focuses on uh, the procession of Palm Sunday, the great jubiling, uh, uh, the great triumphant em entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. So what I did for us today is I read the little closing part of Mark's uh, account of Palm Sunday uh, on that triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And then I read the last section of his passion that led up to his death on the cross. Uh, and, and it sort of reflects this day that we celebrate. We celebrate the triumph of Jesus uh, and his suffering and death. Uh, two contrasting moments. Did they happen a week apart? a few days apart, a few months apart, we don't know. In a liturgical way, we make it from Sunday to Sunday. Next Sunday, we'll celebrate the, the great feast of Easter. But we don't know exactly how the, this uh, uh, story played out in its real time. But, but to me, to, to, to put it in context, to put in the context of Christ's triumphant entry and then his passion, death, and resurrection. I mean, we've all had those moments, those high moments of our life that we want to hang on to. Uh, but oftentimes, sometimes those high moments lead us into some of the lowest moments of our life. And that's what we experience with Jesus. This is a holy week. That's what we call it. It's a special week. It's the most profound week of our faith. And so I'm just going to say, don't make it like any other week. Enter into this mystery. E enter into this story. Um, you know, I know some of you, because you watch us, you can't get out uh, to church. And so you wouldn't be able to go to Holy Thursday or Good Friday or, or the vigil on Holy Saturday or even Easter Sunday Mass. But don't let them just pass by. Uh, you, you, you can read the readings. Go back and read Mark's Passion. Go back and read John's Passion, which we'll hear on Friday. Uh, take some time on Thursday, uh, on Saturday, to, to just sense where we are in this journey, in, in this story, and, and allow it to enliven, to grace, and to bless your faith, so that perhaps when we gather next Sunday, on Easter Sunday, we can be like that centurion at the end of the gospel who looks at the cross, who looks at Jesus and says, truly, this was the Son of God. As we enter this most holy of weeks, let us pray with courage so that we may come to share more abundantly in the sacred mysteries we celebrate. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. As we begin this most holy of weeks, 
We pray that the journey of Calvary and the empty tomb will renew our faith, enliven our hope, and embrace and grace us in Christ's unconditional love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the sponsor of our Mass today, James DeNorio, and we remember his special intention for this Mass, Rosemary DeNorio. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of the Sunday Mass faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Jacqueline Lee Spar, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. O oh God, we know that you will not abandon us. Hear our prayers and needs and respond to them out of your unconditional love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Friends in faith, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may, we, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins. His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all whom you call to the ministries and service and mission of your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we humbly pray. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And let us share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may our good and gracious God bless us this holy week and always. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth and continue to proclaim the gospel with our life. Thanks, thanks be to God. And thanks to all of you uh, for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. Special thanks to our ministry team for leading us and helping us to pray and celebrate as we enter this most holy of weeks. And I would also like to ask the uh, indulgence of James Donorio, uh, who is the sponsor of our Mass today. I forgot to mention him at the beginning of Mass. Too many things on my mind, I guess. But we're most grateful to James for supporting us. And I would ask you to keep him and keep Rose Marie Denorio in your prayers as we journey through this holy week. We'd also like to wish our lector, uh, Jackie, a happy birthday today, and hope it is uh, blessed with many wonderful things today. Um, as I said, we enter this most holy of weeks. I pray that you have a blessed and holy week this week, uh, and I look forward to gathering again next Sunday to celebrate the wonderful feast of Easter. So until then, especially in this week, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul? 
to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. To